Hey friends, welcome back. I'm so happy to be able to share with you again in our series, In Pursuit of the Father. Today we're going to talk about the God of all truth. Because it was in fact while I was preparing for a seminar that we're doing this Saturday in my local church that I began to dig a little bit deeper into the Word of God about the importance of walking in truth. And in fact, not only is it necessary for our lives, it actually rejoices the Father's heart. It says in 3 John 1, 4, I have no greater joy than this, than to hear my children are walking in truth. And it, he repeats it in 2 John verse 4 of chapter 1. I rejoice greatly to find my children walking in truth. That's the whole reason we're here on this earth. When we walk in truth, not only do we bring God's truth to the people around us, but we are actually walking in liberty because the Bible says in John 8.32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. In fact, this Holy Spirit was given to us and he is called the Spirit of Truth. He's called to lead us into all truth and he comes from the Father which means that our Father is the source of all truth. That means truth concerning who is God, truth concerning who you are, truth concerning the people around you as well. So in other words, one reason we're pursuing the Father is to experience His truth, not just know it intellectually, to experience His truth and to walk in truth. This is kind of makes me think of you know, a child. Have you ever seen a child put on his father's shoes and try to walk in those shoes? That's the picture I get when I think about the term walking in truth. But the importance of it is particularly this. Our adherence, our attachment to truth is determined by our experiences and then fueled by our agreement with those ideas that come to us and then strengthened by our choices. In other words, the words that have been spoken to us, spoken about us, or even words that we've said about ourselves can either reflect an emotion or an opinion or the truth of what God's Word says. And this is where the power of your will, the power of your choice comes into play. So my question to you is how can you fully experience the truth that comes from God your Father? As we pursue our Father, we realize that He has so many things to speak to us, to speak over us, and to deposit in our hearts and in our spirits. It says in Galatians 4, 6, because we are sons, God has given us His Spirit, and in our hearts that Spirit is crying, Abba, Father. You see, the Spirit on the inside of us reveals to us who we are. That's our true identity, children of God the Father. Your spirit is the seat of truth, in other words. So what's the best thing to do? Feed your spirit with the truth of God's Word. These other sources of truth, their aberrations, their counterfeits, the other voices that you've heard are not necessarily bringing you the truth from Father's heart. So be careful when you're paying attention to the circumstances, or to the media, or to emotions, or to thoughts and opinions and human reasoning. These things are not necessarily helping you walk in truth. It's only when you pursue the Father and pursue His heart, pursue His voice, that you'll be able to experience the truth. The problem that we face is sometimes these other things speak a little louder than the voice of the Father in our heart. So what's the solution? Simply rediscover that place of peace and intimacy in the loving arms of your Heavenly Father. That's where you will hear truth. Allow the Lord to accompany you to those green pastures, or maybe to the mountaintop, or maybe to a lakeside, that place in your imagination where you can clearly have communion with Him and hear His voice speaking to you. Let me pray this over you today from Psalm 86, 11 to 13. Father, I pray that you would teach all of us your ways so that we may walk in your truth. Unite our hearts, Lord, to fear your name. We give you thanks 
with our whole hearts, and we are determined to glorify your name by walking in truth. For great is your steadfast love towards us, and you have delivered our souls. Amen. Thanks for being with me. I will see you next week.